It's a story so powerful, leaders of a taxpayer-funded public school sent out an email warning about our findings even before anything aired. Administrators getting big raises, massive turnover, students without coursework. We're always investigating, so our Lauren Victory dug into the dysfunction. What do we have to multiply four by to get four? Math can be tricky. Is this fraction going to change? Calculations even puzzling adults. Let's try this one. If Angela Richardson Bryant makes zero dollars as board president at her public school one year, but 135 grand as director of strategy the next, how much of a boost did Chicago taxpayers give Angela? Now add in the other expense of her promotion, flights to board meetings, $3,752 and counting. Because Angela moved to Atlanta, but her six-figure Chicago job offer came after that relocation. That makes this both a math problem. Yeah, that's it's a huge thing. Divide five. And a real problem for teachers. We can't get answers about paying for field trips, paying for professional developments, paying for clubs. But we know that money is being spent to fly someone who doesn't even live in the state up here. That instructor still believes in what could be four times one equals four. The Chicago virtual charter school. So what multiples a hybrid of learning in the classroom one day a week four over one behind a computer screen the others. We want to answer the question. CVCS is the first public school of its kind in Chicago. The ratio of the a good alternative for athletes and actors to practice and learn. A different option for kids who struggled with bullying or social issues at their other schools. I just keep hoping that this will turn around. But many colleagues already gave up. Payroll records obtained by CBS2 show at least 22 CBCS employees resigned over the past year. After calling current and former educators to cross-reference all 22 departures, we calculated a turnover rate of nearly 30 percent. How many more of your current colleagues do you foresee leaving? I know personally of at least half a dozen that are looking. The teachers leaving, it's been very surprising. That anonymous parent might be part of the next exodus. And I hate that feeling. She's considering yanking her child out. This is what we got for every course. Is so is Christina Nolan. And what's six times three? A long time CBCS supporter. I've had six kids in this in the school uh, over a course of seven years. The final straw for me. Bridget Govenda pulled the plug in October. Parent after parent yes. yeah. Yeah. told us similar stories about their kids falling behind in school because of the school. So his whole math course was missing. My daughter didn't have social studies, all his online screens, science, uh, extracurriculum courses, his test, and language arts for a semester. We got these um, about six weeks late. Yeah, it took her classes to really get straightened out end of October, beginning of November. The kids were, were feeling very frustrated too and stressed out. 16, good job. And this school year was supposed to focus on fixing things. Why? Because CVCS is already on academic probation. Administrators tell us part of their solution was to restructure academic programming by changing curriculum vendors. 4.5 divided by 3. Instead, teachers say the swap left them scrambling and students without their coursework. This is a process that should take a year to a year and a half to to um, set up properly to make the transition properly. Um, but they chose instead to basically do it over the course of a summer. The person behind those decisions just got a 15% raise this school year. Meet Dr. Cheryl Pruitt. Her $26,000 salary bump to $176,000 came while the school was on financial probation for not meeting CPS accountability requirements. And here's Dr. Pruitt's mugshot. The woman who was once responsible for thousands of students. She in made headlines back in October. Charged with theft. When investigators the say she double billed her district in Gary, Indiana. We don't want to see the school close. No, you know, the, the parents want it open. Okay. CVCS leaders don't either. Responding to every allegation in a three page single spaced word document. Teachers leaving? Some have, quote, asked to return. The hurried curriculum shift due to contract restrictions by a previous vendor. Paying for Angela Richardson Bryant's flights? Fair. 
quote, the CBCS board believes that the cost would be far greater if it attempted to navigate this new direction without Ms. Bryant. Chicago Public Schools promised to investigate those travel reimbursements after we inquired for weeks. We kind of feel like we've been forgotten by CPS, that there's no oversight. So what, what, what would I like to see happen? I would like CPS to come in and take a very good look at, at what's going on here. And what number are we forgetting? Over Dr. Here? Pruitt invited us Two, in recently, five. but was unavailable because of a quote unquote allergic reaction the day of our visit. I'm going to write out my problem. 13 hours before our arrival, a warning went out to parents about a CBS reporter working on a news story. The email included an acknowledgement, quote, we still have ways to go. I asked Dr. Pruitt and Richardson Bryan to sit down for an interview multiple times, but they declined. So tonight I tracked them down to a board meeting. The curriculum wasn't delayed and we have evidence to support that. There was parents telling me there's workbooks that were three weeks late or their math courses were missing. You know, as we change, and I said I wasn't going to talk, but as we change from curriculum and we start anew, some things are delayed. Yeah, are my answers and your questions going to be kept together or they're going to be spliced? To the best of my ability. Okay, then that's not sufficient for me. Can you tell me why you moved to Atlanta? Lauren, if you report with integrity, yes, I can. She never answered that question. The rest of our interview pretty much went like that, but we are always investigating, and I will continue to follow that frustration at this taxpayer-funded school. So CPS, ultimately, they oversee the operation. Have they audited things? What do they say? So this school is placed on a charter warning list, mm -hmm. um, and they said that they'll continue to investigate based on some of the things that we brought up. And they don't think they can find anyone qualified in this area to save money and stop flying this person back and forth. They feel very confident in Ms. Richardson Bryant. Okay. okay. Lauren, well done. Thank you. Thank you.